Question 19. Here are two function machines, A and B. Both machines have the same input. Work out the range of input values for which the output of A is less than the output of B. So there's a few things in the qu this question which signify where we should go. We're working out a range of input values and we're thinking about something being less than something. That's, that's suggesting that we'll use an inequality. And both machines have the same input. But we need to calculate what the input is. So let's say those are both x. If we want to calculate it, that's going to help. Next, we need to find the range of input values for which the output of A is less than the output of B. So we need to know what the output is. Let's calculate it for A. So in this case, we have x, and we square it, so that would be x squared, and then add 6. That's the output for A. Let's do the same for B. We have x, we subtract 3, so x minus 3, and then square. We're going to have to put that in brackets. Next step is let's just expand this quickly, just to set us up for the next. So that's x minus 3 times x minus 3. We have x times x is x squared. x times minus 3 3x. Minus 3 times x is another minus 3x. And minus 3 times minus 3 is positive. So for b, the output x squared minus 6x. We're told that the output of A is less than the output of B, so we can set up the inequality as so. so x squared plus 6 is the output for A, less than the output for B, x squared minus 6x plus 9. Our next step, we can cancel out the x squared on both sides. That's positive, it's not going to mess around with our inequality. And then we'll have 6 is less than minus 6x plus 9. So we need to do a little bit of rearrangement. Let's uh, put the 6 onto this side and the minus 6x onto this side. So we'll be left with 6x is less than 3. And then we can divide by 6. So we have x is less than 3 over 6, which is a half. And that's our answer, the range of inputs for which a is less than the output of 